Is it bad that I actually really like the way this helicopter looks, even on the wheels? I, I feel like that is a little bit bad. Anyway, today what we're going to be doing is deleting those wheels, trying to implement some sort of other wheel system, and going with that. So, let's go ahead and delete these, and we'll come up with maybe something that folds into there. We'll have to see. Anyway, let's get straight to it, shall we? There are lots of enemies in Stormworks, from Navy ships to helicopters armed with rockets and even some tanks. It is our goal to eradicate those enemies from the world. Welcome to Stormworks Search and Destroy. Alright, come here, you. Deleted. Very nice. Go ahead and shove this guy onto there and that guy into there. Oh, I didn't do it on both sides. That's a bit annoying. Alright, shove this guy into here and that guy into there. Alright, cool. Get rid of this guy and that guy. Shove this piece into here and this piece into here. And that's all good. Alright, cool. We need... We need to make it wider, too. <laughs> A few of you guys were saying that. Maybe we should make it wider. So, all I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna move uh, this block, this block, and this block to the left a little bit. And these blocks on the right to the right a little bit. And it'll be a little bit wider. We're then gonna have to delete this window and this window and change those out. But I think we can do that. Alright, here we go. So, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this piece. There we go. Move it to the side one. Paste it in right there. We're then gonna go to this side. And... Is that right? I think that's right. We're gonna go ahead and cut that. Move it across one as well. Paste it in right there. And that is a lot wider, but actually makes it look a lot better. So, I'm gonna try and fix all of these pieces together. We'll redo these windows so they fit as well. And that'll be great. Alright, so there we are. I've gone ahead and fixed in all of the pieces, which is great. And this is now how wide it is. Uh, honestly, I do think that looks a lot better. And it's definitely better suited. The thing is, we can actually put a vehicle in the back of this now. Maybe like an ATV or something. Uh, and it would definitely fit, I think. Yeah, because before it was five blocks, now it's seven. And we could maybe even make it nine. If I make these fold out or something, that would... Yeah, yeah, that would be pretty cool. Okay, so back to it. Let's actually change out this window. Actually, no. We could just add some extra of the other windows in the center. That would also make sense. So, like, let's say one of these, we could actually shove into there like this. Yeah, I guess that works. That looks pretty good, to be fair. Right, so, we are now gonna try and put the back door into this thing, and I'm not entirely sure how I want to go about doing it. Uh, we could actually put it in somewhat like this, and merge these two together, and essentially do something along the lines of this going up to the back end, kind of like this. Um, which might work, but I'm not entirely sure, so we'll just go ahead and do, the, do it like this for now. There we go. And we'll get a throttle, and we'll see what it looks like when it does its thing. Um, we are going to put a minus one number into this as well. I'll shove that onto there and onto here. Uh, everything needs electricity, so just do this. Bosh, bosh, and bosh. And let's see what happens. Because it's going to be interesting. From the back side, it looks like this, which is fine. I could actually make it one further out and it'll look even better, but... Yeah, so let's go ahead and do this. So, what I'm thinking is, if we wanted to drive things into here, that wouldn't be right. That wouldn't be very good. Hmm... Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and send this out by like, I don't know, nine-ish blocks, I guess? Uh, I'll take off the last one and I will actually replace it with one of these guys. And then essentially, we'll just go ahead and uh, attach all of these guys together up to there. And I think that will allow us to do what we need to do. I don't really know though. <laughs> so obviously it's open on the back right now. If I wanted to make it go upwards, Oh, downwards it does actually pretty good, so that's fine. And then upwards is also fine, but it needs to be, like, too longer. Too longer. All right, so this is what it's like now. Let's go ahead and do this. I think 0.45 is what we want it to be. Wait, it needs to be even longer than that. What is going on? Too longer than that, maybe? Alright, so that's what it looks like when it's shut, and when it opens, we can actually put it down to... I don't know, well, we're gonna be on landing gear anyway, so... Uh, this'll be fine. Yeah, it's long enough for it anyway, so... We'll be able to drive things into the back if we need to, like ATVs. That's great. Yes! Alright, let's go ahead and shut it up. Here we go. And let's go to the outside and have a little look, see what it looks like from out there. Oh. Oh. That's not it. 
That's not it. Alright, there we go. I've sort of fixed it, so now it looks about right, and that is exactly where we need it to be. So, it's chunkier than it was, we'll be able to carry more with it. And, uh, yeah, I'm actually really happy with it now. We are going to have to shove an engine into there, shove an engine into there as well, and get this thing flying. But I think what we do now is work on the landing gear. Right, so what I'm thinking with the landing gear, at least at the back, is to just have it, like, slide down. I, I don't want it to be, like, too low anyway, um, so there's not really going to be very much ground clearance for them. Uh, but if we go ahead and we delete these guys right here, we get ourselves a track. Uh, kind of like this one. I'll shove this guy onto the top. Uh, like this, I guess. Yep, sure. Uh, I'll shove that guy onto there. And then all I need to do is go to wheels and shove one of these onto here like this. That's sort of it. That's kind of all I want to do. Which is a little bit weird, but should be fine. We then go ahead and go back to tracks again. Shove the track extension into here. And I kind of only want it to come down once anyway, so... How about we go ahead and see what that does? I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, we'll have a switch box on those as well, because we need to. So the switch box is going to go right in here at the center. Uh, we'll connect this guy to this guy and this guy. And the switch box, for now, can just go on like one or something. Uh, okay, cool. So, the off value, for now, is actually going to be one. And the on value is going to be minus one. So, let's go ahead and give everything electricity and see what that does. Alright, here we go. So that's how low they are. They're not very big though. I feel like they should be bigger. Alright, I've went with the bigger ones and that is what it currently looks like. I think if I can actually fit some more of those, the exact same sort of mechanism in the front somewhere, that would be fine. And in fact, maybe I just go with one single one in the middle. That would work. Alright, so let's go ahead and grab this battery real quick. Cut, yes. Move that backwards to there, that's fine. We're then going to go ahead and delete probably these three right here. Does that seem far enough forwards? That seems very far forwards, actually. Maybe these three. There we go. We'll go ahead and build around those. And yeah, we'll just go ahead and put the wheel in here. That'll be fine. All right, so delete this, this, and this. There we go. Go to tracks yet again. Shove this guy onto here. And then we'll actually shove the track underneath there, just like this. And then we'll just seal it off like that, and that'll be fine. We're then going to go to weight. We're going to go with one there, one there, one there. There we go. Very nice. We're going to shove these guys into the corners. And these guys into the corners right here. We're then going to go to wheels and shove some of these into here as well. And it'll be on the same sort of mechanism. So let's just go ahead and connect that to the electricity. Connect this to this guy. And off it goes. So that's with the landing gear down. If I then wanted to raise it up, we'd get inside. And we'd do this. So that's it raised, that's it lowered. I mean, there's not much of a difference there. But there is a difference. I don't know, is that even... Is there any point to that? I'm not sure. It's like one of those cars that bounce. Boing! <laughs> On the hydraulics. Ah, oh, that's amazing. You know what, that works though, doesn't it? I feel like with the ramp down, with the landing gear as it is, I think that looks fine. It's not the best, but it's also not the worst. I also am going to actually go ahead and add some of these here as well, and that'll look great. I'm going to go ahead and also add some decorations to this real quick, and I'll be back with you guys once they're on. Alright, so I added a tiny bit of decoration, I also painted it green, and the inside I've actually painted this like Soviet greeny green blue stuff. Uh, I actually think this looks pretty good on the inside of aircraft, but I'm going to change it. I'm actually going to go ahead and have it be grey inside of here. We're going to go ahead and have seats lined up down, uh, along the sides that can fold, and yeah, that'll be great. This is actually the button for the door on the back, or the ramp, I should say. Uh, we are going to have to paint this as well, obviously. Uh, we're also going to need some lights in here. There's going to be an engine in that bit right there, an engine in this piece up here, and that'll all be fine. But yeah, I actually really like what we've got so far. Also, that bit needs painting too. So, where is it? Let's paint it right now. It needs to be the same color as that piece. Bosch. Uh, and also, actually, Bosch. There we go, nice. Um, I like the idea of having the outside be like an orange color, but obviously this orange isn't really it. I don't know what kind of orange I want to go for, but like, kind of like that, but not really. I don't know. Do we want it to be orange? I have no idea. 
Alright, so what I'm gonna do then is I'm actually gonna go ahead and paint this piece because I just seen it uh, on the underside really quickly. Bam, there we go. And we're gonna start adding some engines into this, I think. So if we type in engine, yes, uh, we'll actually build one out of these guys, I guess. Where is it? Where where is it? Why am I why am I being blind? There we go, crankshaft. So let's go and shove this into here. Um, this engine is going to be located... I think I'm actually just going to go ahead and do this. Oh, no, actually. You know what? No. Let's go ahead and do this. One, two, three. Oh, wait. What am I doing? All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Delete the one at the front and delete... No, we'll keep the one at the back. We're then going to go ahead and add some cylinders. So, cylinder one is going to go right here. Two, three, four. We're then going to do... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we're actually going to go and shove some here. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So two 16 cylinder engines are going to go in right there. We're going to add a clutch to this one. And we're also going to add a huge engine up here as well. Now, we are going to actually attach both of these engines together. I say both. I mean all four. <laughs> and uh, hopefully that'll be enough to fly with this thing. It definitely will be. Alright, so I'm gonna go back here, and we're gonna start with this one. Here we go. So, let's go ahead and build these guys. I forgot that you could actually drag those. Uh, backwards to there, deleting this guy, and this guy, actually. We're then gonna go to the cylinders, and we're gonna add loads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, 18. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Okay, 26 cylinders in the rear engines. Um, those are big. Those are big. And if we wanted to, we could make them even bigger. You know what? I don't see why not. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, this is a bit bizarre. Those things are huge. Alright, so one thing that I am going to do is I'm going to go back to this one at the front. I'm going to delete those guys. And I'm actually going to go ahead and shove a clutch onto this one right here. There we go. These guys, I'm going to shove the clutch on this side, and that's fine. And on the rear, we're obviously going to go ahead and shove these, the belt drives on. There we go. So let's go ahead and have an alternator. Not that they work that well, to be fair, but one alternator's fine. We're then going to go ahead and get two starters per engine. So one on this side, and also one on this side, if possible. I can't really see which way around that is. I have no idea which way around that is. I can't tell. <laughs> I actually can't see. Is it on the right way? No. It has to go on the, this way around. There we go. Shove that guy back into there like this and repaint this piece. Okay, cool. So that's all right so far. We're now going to have to attach all these engines together, give them all some air, give them all some coolant and some fuel, as well as some exhaust as well, and then we can go from there. So let's do it.
Alright, so I ended up actually doing all of the stuff on the front engine and the rear engine. Uh, the only thing that is actually missing from the front engine is cooling. Uh, currently, we don't have any cooling on this thing whatsoever. And that's not great, to be honest. So, I need to figure out a way of doing that right now. Uh, and I think the way that we're gonna do it is, I'm gonna delete this guy right here. We're gonna add a manifold straight onto there. Kinda like this, there we go. We're then gonna delete these two pieces. Add some pipes, uh, like this one. There we go, pointing down, pointing down. And then we're gonna add some heat thingamabobbies, uh, radiators, onto there, kind of like this. Alright, it's a bit of a weird one, but it is in there now, so maybe that'll be fine. I'm also going to shove that in there, I'm going to fix these guys in right here, and I'm actually just going to go ahead and try and hide a, a little bit of this, uh, if I can. So, there we go. Alright, that's all good. That is pretty weird, but I think it'll work. So, um, hopefully it does. <laughs> I've also actually attached both engines together, I say both. Uh, these two are connected, and these two are connected, but they're connected to each other as well, so we've got four engines going into one, and they're actually connected to the propellers as well. So, a bit crazy, but hopefully it works. Okay, I have probably missed something here. I, I do feel like I need bigger blades on this as well, but, you know, we're in a situation where we don't even have bigger blades. Uh, and I think I need a button inside of here to close these doors, but other than that, it is actually seemingly working. Uh, pretty well. Let's go ahead and do this and this. Oh, you know what? I don't actually have any fuel. There is actually no fuel on board. Um, fluids? Alright, if I go ahead and get a meter, I can actually shove one of those into here. And I need a spawner as well. Here it is. Shove that into there. Hopefully there's no holes in this. There might be, though. I haven't really looked around too much, but I don't think there are any holes. I don't think so. Uh, unless there's one through here. No. Alright, yeah, I think we're good. So, let's go ahead and see if we can take off this time. Apparently we're missing diesel, so we might need to go buy some more diesel uh, very soon. But let's just go ahead and do this and this again. Do this and this. Okay. Uh, that works. Alright, engines actually do run. So now what we need to do is put some clutches in. I guess. Uh, this is going to be connected to the front clutches. This one and this one. And this one is going to be connected to the rear clutches. Uh, where are they? <laughs> this one and this one. Right, so whenever we throttle up, it is going to clutch in as well. Hopefully that will work out. Maybe. Sure. Oh, there we go. That actually works very, very well. So if we throttle up... Oh, we clutch in. I guess the collective should work. But something seems wrong here. Something's not quite working out. Hmm. Alright, so I've actually added a bunch of gearboxes now. Let's go ahead and see what that does. Here we go. So inside, let's go ahead and do this and this yet again. Go ahead and do this and this. Again, there we go. That seems to be spinning a lot quicker this time. The engines are running. So we should... Be able to take off. One would assume. But it doesn't seem like it's working. Uh oh. <laughs> is the up and down actually even connected to this seat? It is. So the up and down is connected to here, which is connected to this up and down, which needs to be connected to those. Okay, I think I've sorted it out, but I'm not entirely sure. So let's go ahead and track one more time. Uh, I really need to put a button in here. That's probably something that we should do very soon. But anyway, let's go and do this and this. Go ahead and throttle these two up. They will eventually start, don't worry about it. I think. He says. Uh. Yep, yeah, looks like they've started now, alright. Whoa! <laughs> okay, that ain't it. That was not it. I'm trying again. Uh, I know that was a, a risky move last time, but now we're trying it even more risky because we don't actually have any yaw control this time. I'm sure that's fine. I need a different clutch thing. I might put one in the middle for the clutch. I feel like that makes sense. Anyway, it started. Very nice. Okay, okay. 
It started going nicely, and then it went really, really wrong. Okay, so currently we have some issues, obviously, and uh, that's not great, but... You know what? We can definitely get this thing flying. Uh, the other thing that I would say, actually, is that... I haven't actually... I don't know if I have ever... Ever actually built one of these, where the helicopter is like Chinook design, you know, like the prop at the front and the back? I don't know if I've ever designed a helicopter like this before in Stormworks, which is bizarre. I feel like I must have, but I just don't remember it. I don't know. <laughs> I actually don't know. Uh, but anyway, where we're at right now is we have a helicopter that does take off, it just doesn't like flying just yet. That's all. Right, so let's go ahead and open up this door. Uh, I've made it daytime, I went and ran and went to sleep. We're actually gonna go ahead and try something a little bit, well, slightly different, actually. We're gonna throttle this up to 50%. 52, all right, and 52 right there. So clearly, we need less power on the rear one and more power on the front one. If I turn the gyro on, this is sort of fine. Yeah. Okay, well, you know what, it's flying. The issue is we don't actually have a yaw control right now, which I kind of need, to be honest. Um, but yeah, it's actually flying. If I jump into that seat and I press 1, look at that. So our landing gear would be there, and we'd fly. If you're wondering why there's only exhaust at the front, by the way, it's because I put catalytic converters on, on, the, on the back. Um, and I didn't actually have any room on the front ones to do that, so that's why that's happened. Door opens at the back. Beautiful. This is awesome.